Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at this Tekin SB53 LED Smart Bulb. Um, <clears throat> as you can see it has uh, Wi-Fi controlled uh, colour adjustment, you can uh, set schedule it to come on and off when you like, and it's also voice controlled via the likes of um, these here. Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa as well. This one happens to be the um, Edison screw version, that's no problem at all, we can deal with that. Let's get it out and take a look at it. Hopefully, there we go. Nice little bit of a foam on the top to protect the bulb itself, and here it is. This is quite a large bulb, as you can see, and we also get um, a multilingual instruction manual with it too. The bulb's busy rolling around in the background there. But uh, yeah, so you get um, multilingual instructions with it too. So as you can see, this is quite a large bulb. So you're going to need a largish um, holder to put it in. A large lampshade or whatever to put it in. I think it's actually designed for the sort of, um, you know, these uh, angle poise light sort of thing. You screw it into them. This is quite a, quite a lot heavier than your standard uh, ordinary bulb. Because you've got all the uh, electronics pack in the back here. So basically you screw it into... Uh, wherever you need it, your uh, ceiling rows or wherever you need it and the first time you switch it on it will uh, blink slowly at you uh, this is showing it's ready to uh, be connected so then what we'll have to do is to download the app there is an app for this little fellow so you download it and then you can connect it up because basically you've got to connect to the app make sure your, the app and your uh, device are connected to your Wi-Fi then you have to tell this what Wi-Fi you're connecting it to and then you simply um, using the quick mode configuration what they call it easy mode you simply uh, connect it to your Wi-Fi and you uh, um, basically you have to input your email address and send that off and they will come straight back at you with a code so then you put the code into the uh, bulbs software and then you can set up yourself a little account which is very quick to do and then you're all ready to go with the bulb itself and it's very very simple to use and then we're uh, ready to use the bulb okay so let's get into the app itself and we can switch it on and off from the app like so we can control the uh, the brightness just with this slider here back up again and we've also got colour temperature as well so we've got fairly warm over here and we can move it to a much colder light by sliding it across to 100% we've also got um, colour mode as well as you can see we've got the saturation slider at the top here and brightness as well so there we go we're in sort of red mode at the moment as you can see and you just simply slide it around blue move it into the green as well as you can see there into yellow so you can set it where you want and you can also turn it on and off from the colour mode as well. And we also have what they call scene mode as well. Um, some of these are a little, in my mind, I don't know what, what they were thinking about, but you've got the night mode here, read mode, which is slightly uh, brighter. Then we've got meeting, whatever that means, which is a slightly, slightly red glow there. And then we've got um, leisure, different colour again, slightly. Uh, purplish violety colour then we've got soft which is just I don't know why it blinks like this I really don't I don't understand that at all but you do have some settings here so you can control the speed of the flash and of course the brightness and the saturation at the top too but again I don't know I don't understand what that's all about and then we have um, gorgeous it seems to uh, run through a load of different colours and shine 
Again, not really sure what that's all about. But uh, read isn't too bad a while. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the, uh, some of these modes are all about. I really don't, to be honest with you. In standard mode, the bulb itself is exceedingly bright. It's very bright, as you can see. Dim it down. And you've got the colour temperature as well. I mean, at night time, this mode is particularly bright. I'll just uh, roll in some footage. Okay then, so apart from a few very strange scene modes, this bulb is quite good. I quite like it. And the smart bulb can easily be controlled by um, Google Assistant too. Hey Google! Turn on bulb. Sure, turning smart bulb on. on. Brightness to 20%. OK, setting smart bulb brightness to 20%. Turn off bulb. Sure, turning off smart bulb. Turn on bulb at 100% brightness. OK, setting smart bulb brightness to 100%. That didn't quite work, did it? <laughs> Turn on bulb. OK, turning smart bulb on. And we can control it like that too. Turn off bulb. Got it, turning smart bulb off. It is quite interesting uh, throughout my lifetime how bulbs have changed. We've gone for these old fashioned incandescent bulbs to these fluorescent folded over things. We've moved into the halogen, so-called energy saver bulbs, which has like got a little small bulb inside a standard bulb, as you can see there. And now we're moving into the uh, LED style of bulbs. This is the second smart bulb I've got in the house. I think they're great, actually. Even at my age, they're. Uh, it's quite amazing what what you know the technology we're getting these days. But you know, have a nice smart bulb to control it from an app rather than getting up and moving over to the wall to turn it down and dim it or switch it on and off it's fantastic really you know the technology is it's brilliant okay then so i would like to thank techin for sending uh, this excellent bulb in for for me to take a look at and to show you guys um thank you very much techin i will put you a link to the uh, uk amazon page for Tekin. It is also available on, um, I believe, on the US Amazon one as well. So if you just go along and search Tekin, you should be able to find them. But I will, as I say, put you a, a link in the descriptive text down below to the uh, UK Amazon page for this bowl. Okay guys, well thanks for popping over and taking a look at this uh, very interesting bulb. I do love my tech. Um, I hope I've answered some of your questions about this particular bulb or these bulbs in general, how they work, how you set them up. This is a very easy setup. If I can do it, anybody can do it, to be honest with you. It's just you get walked through the separate steps by the app. It's no trouble at all. It's very, very simple to set up. It's not complicated at all, really. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed popping over to uh, Rathbone Manor, taking a look at this very nice bulb here. Um, it's going straight back into my uh, living room again as soon as I've finished filming here because uh, Mrs Rathbone loves it too. She thinks it's great, nice and bright, so she can see what she's doing when she's sewing and knitting, etc. Uh, and as I say, you know, controlling this thing is excellent. You can use uh, the, either the uh, Smart Life app, you can use Alexa, you can use Google Assistant. Fantastic bit of kit. Alrighty then, guys. 
Thanks for popping over, thanks for taking a look at the ball, and thanks for watching! Oh.